Hey, what's going on? I wanted to make a video today about the Flytanium Talisong Z. Sorry, I'm flipping in the background. I'll put that away. So this is actually, well, I'll get into that in a second. Let me unbox it first. So I just happened to get a signed box, uh, which I didn't know was a thing. When I got it, I thought that maybe that wasn't um, signed by Eldon Talley. It's obvious, you know, it's not super obvious looking, but I Googled it and I guess he did sign some of them. Um, I hadn't seen another, another video of one that had been signed. So I thought that was pretty cool. So when you open it, a uh, nice lined lid, there's the knife with the Bally boot on it. Um, I am not going to be using that. I think it's neat. It's cool that they throw it in the box, but, um, I just carry it in my back pocket tip up. So there's the knife more foam and then really cool you get a sticker with the uh tally logo the flytanium logo and you get a microfiber cloth which is super cool uh, I, I haven't gotten any other butterfly knives that come with a cloth so uh, i'm really really happy with the packaging the unboxing experience is cool it makes you feel special all that fun stuff let me put all this away here and I like the fact that I got a signed box. That's sick. So here's the thing. Uh, I, I have another video, I believe, my Cracker Agon, um, where a Talisong Z was in the video. It was not this Talisong Z. So I got my first one, and after flipping it for uh, about 10 minutes, I realized that the handles were crooked. You can actually set it on a table flat table and one handle could pivot around without touching the table with the weight of the knife on the other handle. So it was, it was pretty crooked and it was also, um, not in line. It was kind of off like that along with off that way. So I contacted Flytanium and within you know, like an hour, I had a, an email back saying, we're so sorry, send it to us and we'll make sure you get your signed box back, which I think was super cool because I bought the knife from Blade HQ. I didn't buy it directly from Flytanium. So they must have looked up my email or something and seen that I had gotten a signed box because I didn't tell them that. Um, so just the fact that the attention to detail that went into looking me up and seeing that I got a, a signed box and letting me know that I was going to get my signed box back was a really nice detail, really nice touch. I really appreciated it. So I mailed the knife out last Tuesday and I got it back, um, when did I get it back? I think I got it back yesterday, so about one week. So I sent it there, they sent me an email saying, yep, those, those handles are crooked, they found me another knife, they stuck it in the box and sent it back to me. So this one is perfect, and I'm really, really happy with it. Um, as far as flipping goes, it flips really, really well. It's running on ball bearings, um, not bushings, which, when I first got into flipping, I had I had a couple ball bearing knives and I hadn't flipped anything with bushings. And I was like, what are people talking about? Bushings are supposed to be better. These are super, super smooth. Uh, to be fair, it was a Benchmade 87, which has some of the smoothest ball bearing pivots, but either way, um, but then once you flip a bushing knife and you do some, some tricks on it, you kind of see what people are talking about. So in that, in that way, as far as the pivots go, it does not, it does not compare to a crack, crack racking. They're not quite as good. The pivots, I mean, are not quite as good. Uh, that being said, everything else about the knife is just as good. There are certain things about this knife that I actually prefer to my crack racking, and there is only two minor things about it that I do not like as much, one of them being those pivots. That being said, you know it has ball bearing pivots going in, and as far as ball bearing pivots go, they are really good. They're very smooth. They don't make any noise. At least, mine doesn't make any noise. Uh, there's no handle play at all, as to be expected with bearings. Of course, there's no tap. Two things that I, I realize aren't quite as good as the crack rack and are, like I said, the bearings and the edge. It did not come that sharp. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily try to cut myself with it, but um, yeah, it, it definitely could could use use a sharpening, which I'm sure I will do. Other than those two things, I love the knife. I mean, the fit and finish is fantastic. I really like the finish on the blade. It's kind of a stone wash, but it's like a glossy stone wash. Uh, so it really won't show imperfections when you drop it versus uh, on a Cracker Rackin, it has a really, really well machined kind of finish on it. 
and it shows imperfections really easily. Um, maybe not in this video, but there are some imperfections on my blade from dropping it. <clears throat> and um, I don't know, it, it's just a little irritating because they're gonna get dropped and they're expensive knives and you don't really wanna show imperfections, but at the same time, it's what they're for, so it's not that, that big of a deal. <clears throat> so, what do I like about it versus the Crack Racken? What do I like more about it? Well, there's a lot more rounded edges. So the, the spine of the knife is completely cr crowned. The Cracker Rackens is crowned for a little bit of it, and then the, mo the majority of the, the spine is not crowned. So it's crowned that right there, which to be fair is where you're, you know, it's gonna hit your hand most of the time. But there are a lot of times where my hand, you know, the back of my hand makes contact with the spine right here where it's not crowned. And you can feel there's kind of, I wouldn't say it's a sharp edge, but it's more of a sharp edge than if it were completely crowned. Um, it does look awesome. You know, that that machine work right there looks great. So can't really be upset about it necessarily. It's just something I notice. Uh, another section right here, not crowned. Uh, like it's still machined. It, it has a chamfer on it. And so it doesn't hurt when it makes contact with your finger, but it's not as comfortable as every surface on this knife is rounded. I mean, everything on it that's not an edge is rounded. The, the attention to detail on this thing is really, really good. So if I were in the market and I wanted to either get a Talisong or a Crack Rack, and the first question I would have to ask myself is, can I find one of these? Can I find a crack racking? Because they do drops like, you know, only so often, and it's really, really hard to get a hold of one of these. I just so happen to have this on my wish list on Blade HQ, and I had like every version of the crack rack and they had so that I had more more opportunities to purchase one. And the one I wanted was the black tanto. And that just so happened to be one that came into stock. I got an email and I immediately bought it. Right now you can go onto any website that carries the Talisong and they probably have them. They probably have them. Um, Blade HQ has them. Their Flytanium has them. Knife Center has them. I mean, they're just much easier to get. And so if if you have 300 bucks in your pocket that you really want to go towards a nice butterfly knife and maybe you're getting tired of waiting for one of these, you're not, you're not going to be upset with this. It flips 90% as well. And the fit and finish and quality is just as good. It really is. As long as you don't have one with crooked handles. And I'm sure that Squid Industries has fantastic customer service, but they make such a good product that I've never had to use their customer service. Um, but I can tell you for 100% certainty that Flytanium's customer service was fantastic. Uh, I mean, there was just no arguing or anything. There was no, no back and forth. It was, here are some pictures. This is what I'm experiencing. Oh my gosh, we're sorry. Here's a return label. Send it back. We'll return a new knife in the same signed box. I mean, you can't get any better than that. So... I'm really, really happy with the customer service. I'm really happy with the new knife. And uh, overall, it's definitely a recommend for me.